A Christmas Carol, another literature uh, simulation. And this is not the Dickens Project, which will be going on all month. This one is built by Brant Knudsen, and you will get to encounter the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. Click on the sign where Yan is sitting, Dickens Christmas Carol. In local chat, you will see all of the various uh, landmarks there, and we're going to start with Marley's ghost. So that will take you to so, um, first teleport to destination. Mr. Marley's ghost. Please click. Click on Marley's ghost. If you get lost, ask for a teleport. See you at Marley's ghost. First teleporter on the local chat. Great, looks like people are making it. We're in the counting house. Merry Christmas, Uncle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just heard nephew uh, Scrooge's nephew Fred say Merry Christmas, Uncle. <laughs> you can you can tap on some of the characters that Brad has created and they will Merry they Christmas, will interact. Uncle. Yes, Scrooge and uh, Mara counting house. Yes, you can see the sign right out front if you camera around. Scrooge and Marley established 1823. Beautiful snow outside. Right. Children sing a Christmas song. Yes, lots of Christmas music, sound effects. I just heard the horses. <laughs> now, um, Yan, are we ready to go through and go on to see Marley's ghost? Uh, so please, please remark this uh, clerk bub, bub. She is uh, repeatedly appeared. And uh, Scrooge is uh, uh, nephew. Uh, Fred. Nephew Fred, Fred is Fred. standing there. Yes, right by Scrooge. <laughs> uh, uh, Fred uh, pass fade. Uh, Scrooge to participate Christmas party, but uh, Scrooge is refused. Then, then go to uh, this door. Touch when you walk door. to the door and you touch it, we will go on to, to see Molly's ghost. ghost is Scrooge's uh, bedroom. All right through the door and you will come to Scrooge's bedroom where you will see Marley's ghost complete with his chains. Okay. And you can see this Those is a, hands, I think. a completely different um, experience than the Dickens project. For in this, you are entering the story itself to meet the ghosts and hear the lightning and the, uh, and you here we are in. I was your partner, Jacob Marley. <laughs> Just heard him say his famous line, in life I was your partner, Jacob Marley. You can see there are other doors here where we can go on forward to see the ghosts of the story. What so we will be going. Hmm. Oh, there is a three door. But uh, we we beat past the door. Christmas passed. So in Christmas past, we're going to uh, meet the first of the three ghost spirits. And I'll put in the local chat what we'll find here. P's walking across the bridge. Let's go ahead and go over the bridge. So this region is also a left hand rule. Fezziwig's ball. If you don't remember Fezziwig, he knew how to keep Christmas. And Scrooge never forgot that every year he had a beautiful festive ball. Here they are and dancing. 
uh, fast speed. Please remark outside of house. So fa fa fire head uh, speed is so fast speed. Uh, Christmas first and the screech. We're standing here by the ghost of Christmas past, looking in at Fezziwig Ball, remembering from from his past how Fezziwig loved Christmas. And Yan just pointed out I'm standing by the ghost. It looks like a kind of a fiery ghost. If we walk down this way, we will be able to find the scene where Scrooge breaks up with his fiance Belle. You see Scrooge is here with the ghost. Because Scrooge, of course, is more interested than in his ambition and his money and throws away his chance I release at you. happiness. You fear the world too much, Ebenezer. On this earth, more terrifying to me than a life doomed to poverty. May you be happy in the life you've chosen. walk around through the snow over to the door while you're walking you can see the lovely little carolers over there caroling <laughs> and then we'll go through and go to Christmas present through the door Walk over this way, right through the Christmas present door. And here we'll meet Bob Cratchit and the Cratchit family. Notice the second spirit of Christmas present standing behind Scrooge. Very big, tall, we're in Christmas present. Second bit. If you zoom in, you'll see Tiny Tim's crutch. For this way, there's um, the marketplace, which is also part of Christmas present. Walk through the marketplace, look around, the outdoor food stalls, the lifestyle. sounds of the people. <laughs> and then we head back to return to Scrooge's home to meet the third of the spirits. Over here to the door, return to Get Scrooge Central. We're back in Scrooge's home. We will walk through the third door. I see peas there. Christmas future. Should Scrooge continue on his path and not change his ways, here we mourn the loss of Tiny Tim. the speed of Christmas past. 
You can zoom in and see their sad faces. I'm sure none of us will ever forget that poor tiny too. <laughs> All these the shadows of things that will be, the shadows of things that may be. The ghost of Christmas future also takes Scrooge to see his tomb through this door. Here lies a bitter man, Ebenezer Scrooge. Tell me, I may sponge away the writing on that stone! tombs and darkness in the in the future Do not change his ways then we head to the end of it and click the door Here we are with the happy carolers, happy Scrooge, with the huge, beautiful Christmas goose <laughs> that the boy is bringing, and he's smiling. This was built by Brant Knudsen, um, who was in Hong Kong at the time, earning his PhD. He's now in the US, and he's working on another Second Life project, so I'm sure we'll find out what he's working on now. But this Get Scrooged is one way to enter a Christmas Carol. You'll see some Dickens Project posters around. Um, and I notice those aren't current. The Dickens Project's been going on for 10 years and we will be um, having tours all month for the Dickens Project. I'm much obliged to you. Many thanks to you. Bless you. And I want to thank everyone for keeping up with us on this very um, multi-layer tour using Skype, Second Life, and all kinds of interactivity. Great job, everyone. Thanks, Jan. Thank you. As Tiny Tim would say, God bless us, everyone. <laughs>